Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very fine. Well, it's a pleasure to listen to that. Nubia, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Hello to all the ones that are joining. Hello, Carlos, Marta, Iris, Briselda. How was your day? Fine. Also, a little tired, but, but fine. A little tired, but fine. Good. It's good to know. Yes. What about you, Marta? How was your day? Welcome to the class. Very nice teacher. Thank you, thank you. It is? Um, my day is very nice teacher. Your day was very nice, thank you. Briselda, how was your day? Good evening teacher. Hi, good evening, hello. Oh, my day is a little busy. It was a little busy. So you say yes. it, it was a little busy. Evelyn, how was your day? Good evening. Uh, it, I, am, I feel tired. You feel tired, I imagine. I mean, yes. after all the day, it's normal. Yes. Mr. Manuel, welcome. Mr. Miguel Ramirez, how are you? How was your day? It's nice, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Kelvin. Good evening, Manuel Delia. How was your day? Okay, we have Marta also. And Manuel. Mr. Manuel, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. That was great. How are you today? It was very nice. Very busy oh, as well. Great. Okay, thank you for asking, right? In English, it's very nice when you ask a question and it is very normal that you say, in yours, right? It's a, it's a matter of politeness and it is very good that uh, you use the follow-up questions in conversations, right? For example, when they say, hey, how are you? I said, I'm fine, and you, right? Hey, how is everything in life? It's doing good, what about you? You say, and then you continue with the questions. So that is the tip of the day, the follow-up questions. Well, I am going to share my screen with everybody. Let me see, I think. We are going to be sharing this one. And yes, it's the correct one. And please let me know when you can see it, okay? I welcome all of you to the class. This is class number four with us. And um, for sure, remember the agreements, right? Uh, today on the group, I sent you an image that uh, describes the different progress that you should have by now on the platform. So it is good if you follow the suggested idea that we have about the process uh, for the platform or that you advance as much as possible. That's the idea, that you try to advance as much as possible on the platform. And if you have any question, if you have any question, write the name of the exercise and remember to bring it to the class. We are going to try to solve as many questions as possible or ask the question in the chat. I answer as soon as I can. So uh, ask the question in the chat. Remember that we are there to help each other, okay? So uh, the agreements for today, as in every single class, remember to practice your English. Be respectful, attend your classes, keep the cameras active so I can see you practicing. Uh, remember to advance on the educational platform and for sure keep an active and cooperative activity in the group, okay? 
So I think we are almost complete, right? We are 13 participants. Maybe the other ones are going to join in a couple of seconds. Okay. So we're going to start the class today by asking a little about the previous class. What did we talk about in the previous class? Do you remember? Raise your hand and tell me a little bit about the previous class. Volunteers at once, twice, three times. No volunteers. They use uh, uh -huh. they use the and and but. Exactly. And but what else? Can and should. We also practice can and should, right? Excellent. There are other two words that we practiced yesterday. Let's see who remembers. However and though. However and though. though. Very good job. So it is very important that you have your notebook there and that you take notes about the classes. Remember that you can also see the class again if you had any difficulty. You can check the class on YouTube. There is the list of, of YouTube and um, the classes are uploaded every single day. So if any of you has um, a difficulty during the class or something with the internet or, or in the middle of the class, remember that it is being recorded and it is always there in the lists of YouTube. So yesterday we were talking about um, can and should, right? This was the last exercise that we did yesterday, right? And we were talking about this to give different recommendations, right? Or to give your opinion, right? When people ask uh, about different things. And uh, to start the class today, I am going to recap a question that I asked yesterday. What are the activities that you should do if you visit El Salvador? What are some activities that you should do if you visit El Salvador? So I need you please to write three recommendations in your notebook for you to organize your ideas. And then I need some volunteers to give me recommendations. I am a tourist that is visiting El Salvador for the first time. I don't know the country, I don't know anything, but I have a lot of friends right here that are going to tell me good suggestions and good recommendations about the activities that I can do in that fantastic country. Some people say that El Salvador is very beautiful. So you are going to confirm that information. On your notebook, please, I need you to write three recommendations using should about things that I have to do when I visit El Salvador. Someone told me that I should uh, go to El Tunco Beach. And I don't know, you're going to tell me if it's nice or not. So write in the notebook, three recommendations about things that I can do if I visit El Salvador. You are going to Nehapa City and Fireball. Okay, because of the noise, I couldn't listen very well. Can you repeat your recommendation, please? You're going to uh, Nehapa City and uh, Fireball. Okay, remember the complete form of the sentence. You should go to Nehapa City to see the Fireball's uh, celebration. You can say, okay, so organize the activity again, organize the sentence again, and then you are going to reread it. Okay, you should, and then you tell me the recommendation. Okay, someone else? You should go to Oloquira Silti and eat some delicious pupusas. Okay, I should go to Oloquilta to eat some pupusas. Very good job. Okay, write the recommendation in the chat as well so I can keep them all for my next trip to El Salvador. Uh -huh. Give me another recommendation. Uh, 
teacher? Yes, Carlos, tell me. Uh, you you should go to visit the Tasumal. Oh, no. <laughs> in Chalchuapa. Chalchuapa, yes. Yes, I am from Chalchuapa City, so I know the Tasumal very well. <laughs> so I should go to visit El Tasumal. El Tasumal. Okay, that is a touristic place or an archaeological place? Yeah. Is it touristic or archaeological? Archaeological. Archaeological. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, another recommendation. What should I do if I visit El Salvador? You should go to the flower route. Oh, I should go to the flowers route. Where is that? Is it in San Miguel, in La Unión? In Apaneca, Pataco, Guayua. Very nice. So, if you recommend, remember to give the complete recommendation. Okay. You should go to the flowers route in Apaneca or in Ataco. Good. Very nice. Thank you, Nubia. Climbing. 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 Brisel, oh. Briselda. Go ahead. You should go to El Palmarcito Beach to eat uh, hand soup in La Libertad. Oh, El Palmarcito Beach in La Libertad. I am going to write that recommendation for my life because I don't know that place. Thank you, Rizelda. Is it very nice, the place? Yes, it's so beautiful. Tell me, is the hand soup very expensive or cheap? Oh, no, it's too cheap. No, it's too, very expensive. <laughs> okay, not too not cheap. Not very expensive. Nor too cheap, nor too expensive, right? It's like in a normal price. Good, very nice. Let's Teacher. See. Yes, Jamie, tell me. You should go to the Pital. The Pital, it is very cold. Okay, I should go to El Pital. It is very cold. That's nice. I love the cold weather. Very nice. Thank you, Jamie. Let's see. Okay. Who's next? Me teacher. Go ahead, Adrian. Thank you. Um, you should visit the Gulf uh, Fonseca and the beaches. However, uh, the mountain, uh, the Peace Route in Morazan. <laughs> okay, I should visit the Fonseca Gulf. Okay, I should visit the Fonseca Gulf. They say that it's very beautiful. I read in Google that it's very beautiful. <laughs> so I am going to visit it. Thank you, Adrian. The Disculpe, next teacher. Yes, consulta. yes, Manuel. Tell me. Uh, excuse me. How I can say, uh, tener una hermosa vista de. You can have. In you can have a fantastic view of. Fantastic view. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank I you. am going to send it on the chat. Right. I am going to send it in the chat for everybody. Uh, and it is. Viene la en la. In the, how do you say it? In the Which one? Sorry, it is. You should do recommendation at Taco City. Okay, you should visit. You should visit at Taco City. Okay. Thank you very much. I am going to go to Ataco. I have two recommendations for Ataco. You should visit Spino Beach. Oh, El Espino Beach. City. Yes. Okay, I am going to write it in my recommendations. Good, very nice. Kelvin. You should go. Oh, sorry, Evelyn, go ahead. You should go to Santa Ana Volcano. Oh, to Santa Ana's Volcano. Some people say that it's very beautiful and that you can eat ice cream on the top. I don't know, people say that. <laughs> Let's see, who is next? You should visit termales in Aguachapan. Oh, the termales. Some people say that that place is very beautiful. Do you recommend it, Marta? Yes. This okay. Okay, so I am going to go and visit it. Let's see, who am I missing? Boris? Hello? Okay, give me I... one, one recommendation to visit you in El Salvador. Visit, uh... Peña de Cayahuanca. Yeah, it's uh -huh. in Chalate. 
Okay, so I am going to write it down. They say that Kaya what? Can you repeat the name? I don't know. How do you say Peña? Peña? In English? It, it's the same. I mean, it, it's ah, the okay. name, Peña. Peña de Cayahuanca. Peña de Cayahuanca. I am going yeah. to go and see it. Good. Very nice. Kelvin? Oh, Kevin, sorry. What is your recommendation? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have any place. Recommend your favorite place of El Salvador. <laughs> um, I don't know. You should go to the San Santa Ana volcano. It's to the Santa Ana's volcano. Very cool. nice. Excellent. Evelyn recommended as well. So I have two recommendations. I think the place should be very good. So thank you very much, everybody. Am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien? At one, two, three. Sandra. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Peter, you have to, no, you should visit to Cerro Verde. Oh, Cerro Verde. It's in Santa Ana, right? Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay, I am going to visit Cerro Verde the next time that I go to El Salvador, okay? So, okay. very nice. And what is the food that you should try if you come to El Salvador? Uh -huh. What is the food that you will recommend? Yuca uh -huh. frita. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yuca from Chalchopa. Yuca, yuca from Chalchopa. Pupusas, right? I will Pupusas. say that yuca from Chalchopa Empanada. is very good. Okay. Uh, banana pastries, you say. It's banana pastries. Very pastries. good. Pastries. Banana pastries. P-A-S-T-R-I-E-S. -E pastries. Good, so thank you for your recommendations. I am going to keep it in mind the next time that I visit El Salvador. Okay, so I have here a little conversation and it says, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, so listen to the pronunciation for the next time. And then we are going to practice together. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, so students, it's time for you to open your microphone and make some noise. You are going to be Elena and I am going to be Thomas, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Can you tell okay. me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. Sure, I can. Sure, What would you like to know? What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. Where is always nice? Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, 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 it's, it's very tasty. It all sounds really exciting. Okay. Some pronunciation things. We are going to go over some pronunciation details, right? Weather. Okay. Weather. 
Weather. That is weather. something for you to keep in mind. Weather. 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 Good. Weather. Weather. The next one. Definitely. Next one. Definitely. 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 Museum. 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 Okay, as you can see here, the word museum starts with the sound M and it finishes with the sound M. So you say museum. 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 And you have to museum. close your mouth at the beginning and at the end. So you say museum. Okay. Museum. museum. Good, very good. The next one is palace. 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 Palace of Palace. 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 Pyramid. Yes. Pyramid. Pyramid. Say pyramid. 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 It is very pyramid. common to listen in different pronunciation ways. Uh, pyramid, but it's uh, it's very very common to say pyramid. 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 And let me see. Pyramid. I think those were the only ones that I could catch. Do you have any question about pronunciation of any other word? Yes, teacher. Uh, the second, the second word, the, the final. Word. Definitely. 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 Thank you. De you say definitely. 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 Defi. Definitely. 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 Very good job. There you go. You have it. Definitely. 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 And remember, this one is should. 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 With the should. sound D at the end, you say should. Sure. 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 Very good. Sure. And the last one, this one is not interesting, okay? Please don't say interesting. It is interesting. 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 And the last one, it is exciting. 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 Exactly. That's the pronunciation. Exciting. Very good. Exciting. And Exciting. Any other question in pronunciation? Interesting. 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 No more questions. One. No more questions. Two. No more questions. Three. Okay. Now you are Thomas and I am going to be Elena. Okay. One, two, and three. Go. Can you tell me about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. Oh, good. good. And why should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Uh, what else? What else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It's all it's sound all really sound exciting. 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 Okay, uh, Adrian, you are going to be Elena. I am Thomas. Hi, Adrian. Okay. Ura, Adrian, you are the example. Okay. okay, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. Uh, what would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go mm -hmm. anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and to go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Okay. You should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. The Pyramid. The Pyramid. Interesting. Interesting. It all sounds really exciting. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
everybody, okay. please reactions and claps for Adrian. That was very good. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Reactions and claps for you. Adrian, who is going to be the next volunteer? Uh, the next volunteer, uh, Evelyn Mariela. Evelyn Mariela, okay. Aquí se acaban las amistades. <laughs> Evelyn Mariela. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Battle of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very inter interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Very nice. Claps and reactions for Evelyn. Very good. Excellent. Evelyn, who is the next one? Uh, Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. Okay. <laughs> can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Uh, well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should finally visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Okay, you should definitely remember. And what else? Uh, oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. <laughs> the pyramid. Pyramid. It's very pyramid. interesting. And pyramid. it all sounds really exciting. Thank you very right. much. Now, Carlos, give me two names. Two names. Okay. Uh, Iris Rocio y Luis Hernán. Okay, Iris and Luis. Ready? Eh, ¿Quién va con Thomas? Ok. Uh, Luis, you are Thomas and Elena is Iris. Go ahead. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Where? What's a good time to visit? I think you can uh, go to any side that where is always night. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to that. And Pines what else? Or find our... And what else? Oh, you should miss the pyramid of the song. It's very interesting. Is all song really exciting? Very good job. Reactions and claps for the two of you. Just one thing in pronunciation. The word should. You should. Okay. Should. Sure. Very sure. good. Thank you very, very, very much. And the last volunteers. It is. Can you give me two names? Marta. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nubia. Marta and Nubia. Ready? Ready. Marta, Marta is going to be Elena and Nubia is Thomas. Go ahead. Can you tell me a little, a, a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you should, you should visit the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. 
Thank you very much. Great job. Great job, ladies. Remember, interesting, interesting. And you should definitely visit and uh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. So remember those two things in pronunciation, keep them in mind. Very good. So we're going to go to the next part, right? We're going to change this one a little bit and we're going to replace the information in the conversation for information about our country. So uh, let's see. Who wants to help me with this? I need one volunteer to tell me, me teacher, I want to try. We are going to have on the moment English. Who wants to try? Uh huh. Only one volunteer. Don't feel afraid. We are going to help you. <laughs> and everybody's like, no, 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 no. I don't. Huh? Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you, Griselda. Let's see. And Catherine is the next one. Ah, okay. this, Griselda, can you tell me a little about El Salvador? Uh, sure. What would you like to know? Well, what is a good time to visit? I think you can go anything, anytime. The weather is always weird. <laughs> the weather sometimes is hot, sometimes it's cold. <laughs> the weather, the weather is very varied. <laughs> very varied. You never know. Okay. Um, what should I see there? Uh, well, you should definitely visit Oloquilta to eat pupusas. Um, El Puerto de la Libertad to see the beaches and El Pital eh, to see the, como es, the mountains, the, the, paisaje. the mountains, ah, mountains, mountains, mountains and the view. Okay. The view is El Paisaje. Oh, it all sounds really amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. You see, Brisalda, you survived. Very good. Catherine. Okay. Can you tell me a little about El Salvador? Okay, sure, I can. I have to read this. Yes, or it, I have to. It's because this is like very general information that fits very good with El Salvador. Okay, so sure, I can. Where would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? Um, I think you can go anytime. The, the weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there in El Salvador? Well, you should definitely visit um, the Cerro Verde. You should visit uh, amazing beaches. And also, you should visit um, natural place. Okay. It all Nat sounds... Natural Natural places, very good in plural. It yeah. all sounds really, really nice and interesting. So I am going to go to the country, definitely. Thank you everybody for your help. Thank you for participating in this conversation. We are going to go to the next part of our class. And today I am going to introduce a little bit about health problems. Do you know what health problems are? For example, the flu. The flu. The flu is a health problem. What else? Pandemic. The pandemic. <laughs> Everything the related to COVID-19, right? COVID-19. Uh, yeah. Tell me, how many how many times have you suffered from mental COVID? All the time. <laughs> All the time, right? It happens that you are like, <clears throat> and then you start worrying because it can be the illness but thank god and let's pray god to keep us safe and sound from the pandemic and if you survive covid let me tell you that i really admire you because that it's a very horrible thing i have never had it thank god but i don't want it <laughs> so 
let's be very careful. Today, we're going to talk about health problems. This is a very funny topic because uh, we almost always have a, a health problem. And it's, it is not because we are like entering to this adulthood moment of life that they say that after 25, everything is a health problem. After 25 years old, it's like always a headache, a backache, sort of muscles and everything, crunchy, everything. So it's a problem. So among the different health problems that we have, and here we have it, if you want, you can copy them on your notebook or you can screenshot them, or you can take a picture of the screen, or you can just watch the class later on, or you can take a picture there and send it to the chat, whatever you want. We are very technological here. Uh, I can mention, for example, a headache. Do you know what is the meaning of this? No, no, headache. A, no, head no, no, no. a headache. Okay. Hey, I, had a, okay. I have a headache. The word ache, it means that you have a pain in a place a of your body, right? Ache mm -hmm. means pain, okay? Headache, I have a headache and you have a pain in your head, right? I have a headache. If you say, I have a backache. Oh, I have a backache. In some cases at the end of the day, when you finish working, you always have a backache, right? They say like um, being an, an adult is having a different pain every single day, right? <laughs> the next one, an earache. An earache. An earache. Eric, it's like when you have a pain on your ear, it's like, oh, yeah. on your ear. They say that it's very, very, very hard to have an Eric. The second worst, a thudic. What is a thudic? It's when you have a pain on your tooth or on your teeth. Huh? Then it's like, mm, Jesus, I have a thudic. And it is very, very, very hard. Okay. A stomachache. A stomachache is when you have a pain in your stomach and you are like, oh, I have a stomachache. It's not a stomachache, okay? <laughs> Please don't say that. It's a very common mistake when you are learning English, but it's a stomachache. And it's like, oh, my stomach, oh. Hey, otro pancito. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> and you want to eat, right? <laughs> yeah. It happens yeah. with the kids, right? I have a little kid and it's like, mom, I have a stomachache. Oh. A flu, the flu. And then you have, hey, do you want soda? Okay, a little bit for the stomachaches. The flu. The flu is everything, right? When you have runny nose, when you have, uh, when your eyes are crying, when you are sneezing, like, achi, achi. And, uh, and everything, it's a whole combination. The flu, the one fever. that we are very afraid, fever. Fever, huh? Fever is like fever. all the time. <laughs> since, the, since the pandemic started, you are like, hey, no, no, we I'm okay. Fever. I'm okay, you see, I don't have fever. Diarrhea, you know Diarrhea. what this is. I cannot explain you Wrong, more of it. <laughs> yeah. uh, the problem is when the house is big, when there is a lot of men, when there are a lot of members in the family and there's only one bathroom. That's a problem. Diarrhea. Sore eyes. It's when your eyes Sorry. hurt a lot and you're like, oh my God, my Red eyes. eyes. When Sorry. you have sore eyes, but they hurt. So, cuando, cuando duelen, no tanto cuando pican, cuando duelen, you have, oh, Jesus, right, you have right. sore eyes. Like in the conjuntivitis, when you have conjunctivitis, uh, sore eyes is very common. Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes is when you want to scratch them all the time. And you are like, oh, my eyes. And you feel that you have something inside your eyes. And you're like, gosh, gosh. Nosebleed. A nosebleed, it's when the blood is going out from your nose and you are like, hey, hey, what's going on? And then the nose, it's bleeding, right? And you're like, oh, it's blood. 
it's red. And it's like, oh, Jesus. So, and they say that put your, your head backwards and that is not correct, right? It's not recommendable. Hiccups, do you know what's the meaning of this one? No. Hippo. Hippo, right? <laughs> it is something that is not bad for your body, but it's very uncomfortable. And you're like, jumping all the time and it's very uncomfortable an insect bite insect bite when an for animal example, bite. Bite. a bit exactly when you have a bee for example a, a bee bite a bee sting bee bite. Bee bite. or the mosquitoes right that's mosquito that's a very common thing in our country the mosquitoes yes. this is a very horrible health yeah. problem insomnia when you wake up in the middle of the night and then you cannot go back to sleep. And it's very, very bad because you are like just waiting, counting the minutes and then you cannot fall asleep. Stress, Stress. it's another health yeah. problem that it's very common nowadays because of job, because of studies, because of everything. Tell me when you feel the stress because of teacher Nati, I am going to change my classes, right? <laughs> But I don't think so. I am I am doing my best for you not to one feel plus, stress. One plus two. I, yeah. <laughs> one plus two. <laughs> it's three. It's three. <laughs> it's <stress>. Thank you. <laughs> good good joke. The uh, next no. one. A very very horrible uh, health migraine. problem. Migraine. Migraine. Okay. It's migraine. a very migraine. bad. Migraine. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Migraine. Migraine. migraine that it can be located at the front of your of your head, at the back or at, uh, in the lower part, migraine. How the do next, you say aura? aura in English, teacher? The aura, I think it's the same. The, the same. aura. Yes, aura. the migraine is similar. When they start to the, show the, the migraines, uh, sorry, uh, auras and, and other people or on the, Focus. Wow, it's migraine. It's start migraines. Okay, yeah, migraine. Migraine, migraine. is it's a very very bad uh, health problem. Sore yeah. muscles. Did you ever have a Zika or chikungunya? Yes. Yeah, with Zika you have sore muscles because all your Los body. Muscles. Yeah, yeah, when all your body hurts and you are like. Dengue. Oh, you don't want to move yes dengue with, too. with dengue too right mm -hmm. a burn do you know what's the meaning of this one it's horrible the burn is horrible <laughs> a burn it's do a you pain. know what's, yes. what's the meaning of this one a burn, burn. A marzo, like a marzo. A marzo, like a yes. exactly like that right a burn it's it can happen when you are cooking or when you are next to the fire mm. or in in the job also it can happen the next one, and another dangerous for COVID, it's sore throat. When you feel a pain here on your throat, this is your throat, right? And when you say like, <clears throat> hey, it hurts, so it throat. hurts. Hmm? Then everybody runs away from you. It's like, Whoo COVID, and then they run away. A cough, this is another dangerous one nowadays. Yeah. Okay, hay problemas de salud que ahora ya son más temidos que otros. A cough is one of them. Because when you are like, uh, uh, um, everybody just escapes. Bye bye, they say. Oh, oh. Yeah, a cough, a cough. See you. Huh. See, you <laughs> yeah. See you in 15 days. <laughs> and when you are in the middle of people, it's like, and, you, and you were like, uh, no, it's solo el saliva, come on. It's like, whoosh, yeah. and they escape from you. <laughs> and the last one is a cold. A cold is a, a lower version of the flu. The flu is a very, very hard situation on which you feel totally bad. But a cold is something uh, smaller. Yeah, something is like, uh, for example, that it's going to pass. We have the two differences. The flu is gripe and a cold is resfriado. Right, that it's maybe just for one night or for one day, okay? 
So for everybody, we're going to practice pronunciation of this and we have a headache. Okay. Open all the microphones. I want to listen to all my students. A headache. A headache. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. An earache. An earache. A thudic. A A stomachache. A stomachache. A stomachache. The flu. The flu. The flu. Fever. Fever. Diarrhea. 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 Sore eyes. Sore eyes. 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 Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Nosebleed. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, hiccups. 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 An insect bite. And and insomnia. 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 Stress. 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 Migraine. Migraine. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. A burn. A burn. Sore throat. A cold. A cold. A cold. Okay. A cold. So, let me see. We're going to go like this. Okay. What is the problem that I have right now? Tell me the problem that I am going to mimic. A fever. 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 Very good. Fever. 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 The next one. A headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. Good. Headache. Very good. I have a headache. The next one. A backache. A backache. A backache. Good. I have a backache. The next one. A thirst ache. A thudic. A thudic. A thudic. Okay, the next one. Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes or sore eyes. It's very good. The next one. A hear. An earache, right? I have an earache. An earache. Okay, the next one. For the next one. Oh my I god. So I have diarrhea. <laughs> I, I, so much. I, have, I have diarrhea and I have Run the 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 <laughs> And then you're going to say, hey, and the teacher? Hey, was it real? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not real. I, I don't have anything, thank God. I don't have anything. So far, I don't have anything. Good, very nice. Excellent. You're very good remembering the vocabulary. Very good. So, it is very it's common. It. Yes, tell me. ¿Cómo se dice dolor de vientre? Ah, I have cramps, you say. I am going to write it here. I have... Cramps. 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 It's like, oh, that it's really hard. Thank God for the voice that you don't suffer from that. Right? Cramps. Cramps. Do you have any other question? More questions? It's a moment. Remember, you have the dictionary here. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how do you say it? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, how do you say in Spanish a uh, backache? A backache. Dolor de espalda. Backache. Oh, yeah. Backache. Okay. And in this case, you can have, for example, a broken arm. When you break a part of your body, it's like, oh my God, I have a broken arm. You can have a broken leg, a broken foot, a broken finger. A broken nail, but that's not a health problem, okay? It's just an accident. Teacher, excuse me. Yes? 
uh, in, in Spanish is say tortículos. How do you say it in English? I think in this case, uh, I, I think it is uh, a stiff neck. Stiff neck. A stiff neck. When you're like, stiff oh, neck. and you cannot move and you have to go like this. And then you have to go like this because you cannot move your neck. I have a stiff neck. You're like, I have a stiff neck. I cannot move. <laughs> yes? Tell me the question. ¿Cómo sería un calambre? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is very similar to cramp. It is very, very similar to cramp. But uh, in the case of calambre, let me see if I have another definition for this one. But it is very common, like the ones in the in the vientre, right? Porque esos son como mini calambres, pero esos cramps. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, it can be a leg cramp in this case. To be specific, right? A leg cramp, uh, an arm cramp, or, or depending on the position of the cramp, right? Thank you. Okay. And we have another one that it's maybe just for the vocabulary. I am going to write it right here. And it's chicken pox. Do you know what's the meaning of chicken pox? No, just... What's the meaning of chicken pox? Varicela. Oh. Chicken pox. Oh. Chicken pox. Yes. Okay, so those are the ones that you can have. I mean, there are many, many more on the chat. I am going to uh, share a list on which you can have woo, many more. Okay, but now because of the time, I chose to show you just these ones. So the most common ways to ask about someone's health are, how do you feel today? How are you feeling? Is everything okay, right? These are three very common ways to ask a person about his or her health. You say, how do you feel today? How are you feeling? Is everything okay? And the answers that you most likely have, it's like, I'm fine. I feel sick. Uh, not so good, not very well. I don't feel well or I'm sick, right? Those are the answers that you most likely have when you ask about health problems. So if I ask you, let's see, uh, Marta, how do you feel today? Mm, I'm fine. I'm fine, you say, good. Let's see, Nubia, how do you feel today? I feel happy. I feel happy, good. Rocio, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm fine. Manuel, how do you feel? I feel sick. You feel sick. What do you have? I have, um, how do you say? Um, como garganta carrasposa. <laughs> I have uh, sore throat, right? Sore I have throat. sore throat. Oh, oh, I, we oh. have to be very careful. Sore throat. A hot lemonade oh. can be useful. Uh, Boris, thanks. Boris, how do you feel today? I am feel very nice. Thank you, and you. I am feeling very good. Thank you very much. You say I feel. I feel very good. Evelyn, uh, how are you feeling? I feel good. Thank you very much, Briselda. Uh, is everything okay? Mm, no, very well. Not I very well. Headache. Oh, you have a headache. Ah, that's so bad. Adrian, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Excellent. I'm fine. Miguel Ramirez, how do you feel today? I'm fine. Sandrita. Good, um, sleep. Oh, good. <laughs> and I sleep. You were about to finish. Sandrita, <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you to ask. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for answering me. So those are the most common ways for you to answer when you ask the question, how do you feel? How are you feeling? Right? For sure, 
remember that you are going to ask these questions if you see that the person, for example, looks tired or she looks different from what they normally are. It's like, Hi, welcome here to you, talk to me. It's everything okay, you say, because you get you get to know your friends and you get to know your people. Ustedes bien conocen a su gente. Y de repente cuando ya le ven la carita diferente, mm, is everything okay? How are you feeling? How do you feel today? And then you can answer with the following answers that you have there. And when you see or hear that they are not very well, if the person says not very well, like in the case of Manuel that he told me, I am feeling sick. And I say, what's the matter? What's wrong? What do you have? Okay. Then you can continue asking a more question. And for sure, the person is going to answer, I have a headache. I have fever. I have sore throat. I have a pain in my heart. Uh, no, we cannot help with that one. <laughs> I have a broken heart. Oh, I cannot help you with that one. Okay. I can give you an advice or a hug or something right? I have a headache, I have fever, I have the flu, or any of the conditions that we studied before, okay? Let's see. Uh, let's do this one first. Imagine that you are sick. Imagine that you have something, okay? Uh, de todos los que vimos, from all the ones in the vocabulary, from all these ones, invent one. Carlos Antonio, what's wrong? What do you have? I have a headache, teacher. Oh. Today is very, very awful. <laughs> oh, I feel very sorry for you. Take some Hello. medicine. You can take some aspirins. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Briselda, what's wrong? The microphone, honey. Sorry, mis hijos están... It's okay. I have a kid too. Don't worry. <laughs> what is the question? What's wrong? What's the problem that you have? You can choose any of these ones. Uh, I I have flu. I have the, the flu. flu. I have the flu. You say good. Let's see, uh, Nubia. What's wrong? What's the matter? I have a cold. Oh, I'm very sorry for you. Evelyn, what's the problem? What do you have? I have a backache. I have a backache, you say. Oh my God, let's see. It is, what is the problem? I have a fever. I have a fever, you say. I have fever, right? You don't say a fever, you say I have fever. fever. Jangmi, what is the problem? What do you have? I have a cramp. I have a I have a cramp. Oh, or I have cramps. Good. Bodies, what is the problem? What do you have? Hola. What is the problem? Hello. What do you have? Oh, teacher, I I have a cough. You have a cough. Oh, that's yeah. so bad. Sorry. Delia, what is your problem? What do you have? <laughs> I have itchy eyes. <laughs> you have itchy eyes. Okay. So uh, that is basically what I had prepared for you today uh, about the health problems, right? And uh, this is the conversation that you have in the platform. So I need you please to practice the conversation for tomorrow because we are going to use it in class, okay? This Thank conversation you, is in the platform, but if you want, I am going to send it to you in the chat mm -hmm. as well. So you can have it and you can practice it because tomorrow we are going to use it at the beginning of the class, okay? So I am going to send you a picture of it. Thank you for the vocabulary. I saw it there. Great. And here you have the conversation. I will send it to you. I need you to practice and please, you can advance on the platform as much as you can. We are going to continue working on this tomorrow. Thank you for being here today. I am going to see you in the next class. Have a beautiful night, rest a lot, 
and I hope you don't have any health problem tomorrow, okay? Thank okay. you, teacher. Thank See you thank tomorrow. You. Good night. Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Sleep well.